everyone. Um, Bree here. We are about to do some bar, so everybody get ready. Um, real quick before we get started, you can use a weight. If you have one, put it at the back of your mat. If you have a water bottle, that works great. Wine bottle, literally anything works. Know that you can also do this with no weights at all. Um, you can use a chair as your bar. Maybe you're super awesome to have a bar in your house. Go for it. Chair, ladder, any of those things. You can put that at the back of your mat. Know that my demo is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to have my demo for my bar here so I can show you a few different postures, but you can set up just like normal weight at the back of your mat. And while you're grabbing those things, if you don't have them already, I want you guys to start to think about one thing that you've really noticed yourself like slowing down to do, whether it's by yourself, for yourself, or with your family that you normally couldn't do when you're in your every day to day lives and like running around like chickens with their head cuts off because that's like literally me on a normal day to day. But I just appreciated having the time to like slow down and do the things that I like enjoy doing, spending time with my family, self care all the things. All right, let's get started. Top of your mountain, mountain pose. Make all four corners of your feet down onto your mat. Inhale, reach your fingertips long above your head. Relax your shoulders down your back. Draw your belly button towards your spine. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale one more time. Exhale, side body stretch to the right. Capture your right fingertips with your left. Exhale, inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, side body stretch to the left. Maybe you take your gaze underneath your right armpit. Exhale, inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, mini back bend. Shine your heart, cactus through your arms. Reach your shoulder blades together. Exhale, inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, find high plank. We're gonna set this up right here. Stack your shoulders over your wrist. Hips right at shoulder height and then hinge forward just slightly. Heels come up and over the balls of your feet. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, press back, find downward facing dog. Hips shoot high. Now I want you to start to pedal out through your feet here. Really stretch through the backs of your legs. Maybe bend your right knee and then bend your left knee. Press through all 10 fingers on your mat and turn the corners of your mouth up. Find a smile here. Relax the tension on the back of your neck. Relax your shoulders down your back. You've got a few more breaths right here just to hang out. Take this super slow. If you're still thinking about that one thing, maybe it's gonna come to you here as you're relaxing all the muscles in your body. Last three breaths. Find a still down dog in two. And one, exhale downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, hinge forward, find high plank. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. We're gonna take this right into one inchworms. Walk your fingers back towards your toes. Roll all the way up. We take it right into three little relevé hops at the top. Walk it all the way down, inchworm. Maybe you add a push up at the bottom from your toes and from your knees, inhale lower. Exhale, fingers walk slow, wind control all the way towards the back of your back. Three little relevé hops. Walk it all the way back down. Whew. You've got this slow and controlled. Maybe you don't even take it to the hops yet. Maybe you just find a relevé, lift your heels high. Lower them down, lift your heels high. Lower them down, find a little calf raise through your legs. Heels kiss together, toes can point out through this. Find a first position through your legs at the top of your mat. You've got it. Maybe you take this to a wide arm push up at the bottom. Or maybe a tricep push up, palms plant right underneath your shoulders. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. You got it. This is going to fire up even more through the backs of your legs. Whew, deep inhale, sharp exhales. You've got 10 more seconds right here. You are strong enough. You can do this. Keep it up. Just for five. Meet me at the back of your mat in four. You've got to find your first position in three. Last two. And one, find your first position. Take your arms into first position arms. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. You've got to roll away, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Just at the back of your mat. Shoulder blades squeeze together behind you. Find a micro bend through your elbows. You've got a little lower. Little lift. Little lower. Little lift. We're going to hold our heels high and breathe. Find a whole bunch of core engagement right here. Last two. And one, hold your heels high. Little plie lower. Lift. Little plie. Squeeze the top. Little lower. Lift. Lower, lift, slow and controlled. Notice how your quads are starting to fire up right here. Continue to draw your knees back towards the back of the room. Tuck your hips forward. Relax your shoulders down your back. This is good. This is time that you've taken to slow down in a little bit of a different way, in a little bit of a workout, but do something for yourself. Know that these next minutes, 
This next period of time while you're on your mat, sweating it out just a little bit, is for you. So allow yourself to slow down through this process. You've got it just for five. Whew. Hold it to the pulse and breathe. Last two. And one, just pull it down, just press. Squeeze, so let's hear squeeze and a beef ball between your arms. Just press, squeeze, drag your knees back, up an inch, down an inch, you've got it for five. Little baby pulse, you can for four, three, two, and one, so take jumps. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. You've got a full range of motion, all the way down, all the way up. Maybe your hands take right up, right center, maybe they come to your hips. Heels kick to the bottom, micro bend through your knees. This is your very first cardio burst. You've got to go, go, go. You've got 12 more seconds right here. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Oh yeah, I love the smiles at home. You can't just five. Keep it up. We're gonna grab our weight or whatever you've got at the back of your mat in four. You can last three for two and one. Heck yeah, nice job, you guys. Capture the weight at the back of your back. Meet me right side body to your bar, whatever your bar is. Capture your weight in your left hand. Meet me in second position, heels and toes out. Find a flat back right here. And then we're gonna take it right into a shoulder press with a plie, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, slow and controlled, inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift up. Elbow stops right at shoulder height. Gaze is straight ahead. Find the 90 degree bend through your arm at the bottom. You've got this. Inhale, lower, plie. Exhale, lift, shoulder press. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, weight stacks directly above your shoulder at the top. As you lower down, really tuck your hips forward. Whew, you've got this. Maybe if you want a little bit more of a challenge right here, don't even come all the way up. You've got it a little bit lower, not all the way up. A little lower, a little lift. You've got this. Inhale, lower, plie. Exhale, lift, keep it up. Now, if you want to dig in just a little bit more, keep your heels grounded down into your mat, but start to lift your toes up just a little bit. Maybe like shake them, wiggle them. You've got this, no stress, this is great. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift, keep it up just for five. You can hold it down to the bottom in four. Keep it up for three, last two. And one, hold it down at the bottom, little pack deck with a releve lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze, inhale together. Exhale, squeeze. Oh yeah, maintain the 90 degree bend through your arm. You've had it there through your shoulder press. Just hold it right there, take it in. Take it out, take it in, take it out. You've got this even lower through your plie, hold it low. Just focus in on your heel lifts. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. You're really gonna start to fire up through your calves. One count down, one count up, you've got this. Inhale, a little lower. Exhale, lift, even lower through your legs, you can. Deep inhale, sharp exhales. Know that I always love the option to drop your arm down to a low rotator. You're gonna get just as much work out of this. Palms up, waist up. Inhale in. Exhale, press back, squeeze your shoulder blades together behind you. Oh yeah, now release the stress, release the tension from your body. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release all the tension from the tops of your shoulders, the backs of your neck. You've got this, inhale lower. Exhale, lift, keep it up, you've got five. Oh yeah, you guys are rocking this, give me four. Last three for two and one. Hold it down, take your weight up above your head. Tricep extensions, inhale, lower. Exhale, press and squeeze. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, press and squeeze. Find an isometric pull through your legs. Really drive your knees back, press your hips forward. And then sink three inches lower than you think you can because you can. You've got this. Whew. Inhale, lower with your arms. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift up. Notice that your biceps are glued right next to your cheekbones. Little drop, squeeze at the top. Little drop, squeeze at the top. Oh yeah, triceps are gonna start to talk to you right here. If you have an extra weight, know that you can always grab it right here for this. Make it a little bit more challenging. One count down, one count up. Oh yeah, I see your legs creeping up. Drop them down just a little bit more. You've got this last six. We're gonna pulse it at the top in four. Oh yeah, elbows high, give me three. Last two. And one, just pulse, press, squeeze, one inch up, one inch down. You've got to just press, squeeze. We're going to add our leg pulse in four, three, two, and one. Little pulse, press, squeeze. Core is so in tight right here. You've got it. Just press, squeeze, engage your core for five. Oh, yeah. Sink one inch lower through your legs. You can do this. Just three, two, and one, exhale your weight to heart center, take tops, inhale, lower to the right. Exhale, center, inhale, lower to the left. Exhale, center, same thing, hold really low through your legs. Oh yeah, your inner thighs are gonna start to talk to you. Start to engage through your obliques, your side abs right here. You've got this little tap down. 
Squeeze the top. Know that your elbow doesn't need to directly meet your um, thigh or your knee. Just a little bit down, little up. It's still gonna engage your obliques enough right here. You've got this little drop. Lift and squeeze, little drop. Lift and squeeze. And if you noticed yourself really speeding up through this, maybe the music took you. I know I blame a lot of things on the music sometimes, but slow it down. Sink even lower, take a little drop. Squeeze, drop, squeeze. Make all three movements their own. You've got this. We're gonna take it just to the right in five. Just to take top to the right in four. You've got to give me three. Sink a little bit lower, last two. And one, just the right little drop. Squeeze, drop, squeeze. You can just drop. Squeeze, you've got five. Even lower with your legs, you can. Give me four, shake it out. In three, two, and one. Wait, right heart center, in and out. You've got to jack it out. Stay even lower through your legs. Inhale in, exhale, step it out. Oh yeah, so, so quick. You've got 15 seconds of cardio right here. Can you dig just a little bit deeper? Oh yeah, take it just a little bit faster. You guys are rocking this at home. Woo! Keep it up, you've got five more seconds. Sink even lower. Drive your legs together, give me four. Just three for two and one. Exhale, second position. Take your weight into your left hand, drop it down towards your hip. Take your right foot, point it forward. We're gonna take it right into a curtsy lunge. Lateral leg lift, upright row, inhale lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Option to point your flex through your left toes. Whatever is most comfortable to you. You've got this one count down, curtsy lunge. One count up, lateral leg lift. Your curtsy lunge just drops directly behind your right leg. Lateral leg lift comes up to the side. You've got this curtsy lunge. Lateral leg lift. Whew, take this slow and controlled. You might need to take it to a curtsy lunge, step it up, and then add your lateral leg raise, and that's a-okay. Listen to your body, listen to what you need right here, right now. This is your time for yourself. One count down, one count up. Weight just grazes the front side of your body. Drag your elbow back, squeeze your shoulder blades together at the top on your upright row. Everything lowers with control. Everything lifts and squeezes at the top. You've got this one count down. One count up and squeeze. Keep it up just for four. You guys are rocking this. I love the pace at home. You can, give me three. Hold it at the top in two. And one, pull at the top, just pulse. Press, squeeze. You've got to kind of micro in for your right leg. Just the pulse. Press, squeeze. Elbows high, toes are pointed. You've got it. Up an inch, down an inch, little lower. Squeeze, lift. Squeeze, keep it up just for six. Hold it at the top in four. You got it for three. Hold it high in two. And one, hold it high. Drop your bicep down to your rib cage. We take it to a hamstring curl. Bicep curl, you got it. Inhale, lift. A little lower. Squeeze, lower. Squeeze, lower. Everything bends, everything extends. Oh yeah, can you lift your left leg just a little bit higher? I like to flex through my left toes on this one and act if I'm stamping my heel on the center of the room. Little bend, extend, bend, extend. You've got it. And if you want even more through your left bicep, extend your elbow up just a little bit more. One count down. Squeeze at the top. One count down. Squeeze at the top. You guys look so good. Biceps are popping. Oh yeah, I see them. Keep it up. We're going to pulse this high in five. Find a little pulse in four. Pulse it out. Give me three. Last two. And one. I so much you pull through your leg. All this high. Just pulse. Press. Squeeze. You've got it up an inch. In down. Just pulse. Press. Squeeze. Think one inch lower through your standing leg and hold it right there. You can. Just five. Elbows high, keep it up. Give me four, hold it high in three, two, and one. Elbows high, just hold it there. We take it into a fine one on our inside leg. Inhale, lower, bend. Exhale, lift, extend. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Know that you can always add your relevé foot here. Little bend, extend, little bend, extend. Take whatever you need right here. If you want to dig just a little bit deeper, add that in. Little bend, big extend. Whew. I know, you really want to step down your left leg and that's okay if you need to tilt it down and focus in on your inside leg, but I challenge you to keep just an inch off the ground, just an inch. You can do this. Up an inch, down an inch, you'll lower and lift your inside leg. Elbow still high, you guys can. Whew, we're almost done with our weight in our left hand, keep it up. 
Shake it out in five. Squat jumps coming in hot in four. Just three for two and one. Ditch your weight at the side of your mat. Squat jumps, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. You've got it. Go, go, go. All the way down, all the way up. Know that you can always take this just into a calf raise. Little squat, calf raise, squat, calf raise. You've got it. As you do that, shoot your hips forward. Engage through your low core. But if you got your squat jumps going, can you take it just a little bit higher? Oh, yeah. You guys are rocking this. Whew. Deep inhale, sharp exhales. You've got seven more seconds. Don't quit on me now. You've made it so far. You can just five. For four, last three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys. Air fives to everyone because you guys are crushing it. I just know it. Be at your bar, wherever that is. Find warrior three. Feet all hips distance apart. Halfway down your mat. Ground down through your right foot. Extend your left leg back on behind you. One inch lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. You've got this down one count. Up one count. Gaze goes straight down. Notice how my ears lay right in between my biceps. Elongate through the crown of your head towards your bar, whatever that is. And then find a micro bend through your right knee or standing leg. Ground down through all four corners of your right foot. You've got it. And then see if you can make that movement just a little bit smaller. It's just an inch. Up an inch. Down an inch. Up an inch. Down an inch. You've got this. Find your control right here. Ooh, you've got this. Oh, yeah. We're going to add on in five. Keep it up. Tiny lift. Tiny lower. Tiny lift. Tiny lower. You've got four. Single it out in three. You can just two and one. All the way down, all the way up. You've got this. Inhale, lower attack. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. One count down. One count up. Oh, yeah. Notice with this, your left hip's going to want to start to really creep up. Steer it back down towards your mat. Level out both your hips. You've got this. Gaze is down. Core is still engaged. Belly button drives up and towards your spine. Find a flat back. Know that if you feel a lot of pressure through your low back, you can always take it forearms to your bar, your chair, whatever you have. Just take a little bit of that pressure out, but still work your legs just as much. Whoo! You guys look so good. Don't put on me now. You've got six more reps. Oh, yeah. Keep it up. Just five. Hold your left leg at the top in four. Hold it long. Give me three. Last two. And one. Hold it long. Rainbow taps. Inhale, lower down to the right. Exhale, lift. Squeeze at the top. Inhale, lower down to the left. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Little drop lower. Lift and squeeze. Drop lower. Lift and squeeze. You've got it. One count down. One count up. Still grounding down through your right foot. Super strong foundation. Microbin through your knees. Whew, you've got this one down. One up. Really find a rainbow. Find an arch through this. And take it slow. Find your own control. Find your own steps at each and every spot. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift and stop. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift and stop. You've got this. How's your breath doing right here? Check in with your breath. It's going to help power you through this entire workout. It's going to help power you through all these movement, movement, movements and these moments. You've got this just five. Whew, hold your left leg high in four. Find a little pulse in three. Just two. And one pulse out. Just press. Squeeze. Press. Squeeze. Very similar to your one inch lifts, but even smaller. I know. Can you imagine it? Tiny, tiny, tiny little movements up an inch. Just press. Squeeze. Press. Squeeze. Tiny pulse just for six. Oh, yeah. We're going to shake it out in five. Give me four, three, two, and one. Press away from your bar. High knees. You got it. Drive up. Knees drive high. Flex through your toes. Pump through your arms. Whoo! Take this just a little bit quicker. I know your legs are burning. You can do this. This is going to feel so good. Get your heart rate up right here, right now. You've got 10 more seconds. Ow, ow! Oh, yeah, you guys are working so hard. Give me four. A little bit quicker. Knees just a little bit higher for three. Last two. And one. Nice job, you guys. Knee right back at your heart. Warrior three feet, y'all hips distance apart. This time, ground down through your left foot. Extend your right leg back long for one inch lifts. Down an inch. Up an inch. Down an inch, up an inch. Same thing here. Know that it's always an option. A pointer flex through your toes, whatever feels most comfortable for you, but find entire leg engagement all the way down to your toes. And then really ground down through your left leg on this side. Maybe you lift up through your left toes. Dig through your heel. It's going to fire up through the back of your leg even more. Micro in through your left knee. 
You've got it up an inch. Down an inch, find your control. Slow down just a little bit right here. So try to slow your breath down, active recovery. Down an inch, up an inch. It's all gonna be okay. You guys are rock stars. Keep it up right here. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, oh yeah. You can, just for six more. We're gonna change it up in four. Take it right into your singles in three. Last two, and one, single it out, inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze. You've got this, check in with your right hip on this side. Left hip, right hip, square right down towards your mat. Core is engaged so, so tight. Whew, all the way down, all the way up, same control. I know, I'm the same way. Sometimes I just wanna like swing my leg up, swing it down. I'm getting so many reps in, right? But I want you to find control. Really focus and slow down on this. One count down, one count up. Full leg engagement, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Keep it up. You guys look so good. Whew, deep inhales, sharp exhales. You guys are rocking this, give me five. Hold it at the top in four. Take it right into your rainbow taps in three. Last two and one, hold it high, inhale, lower down to the left. Exhale, lift and squeeze, inhale, lower down to the right. Exhale, lift and squeeze, you've got a little tap. Squeeze, tap, squeeze, you've got it all the way down. All the way up, all the way down, all the way up. Find your same beautiful big rainbows right here. Oh yeah, think about it. Rainbows aren't just like created in a matter of seconds. Like it takes a little bit of time to create all the colors. I want you to do the same thing right here. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift and tap. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift and tap. Really squeeze your glutes right here. Hips continue to square down. This is where they really want to start to creep up. Square it right back down. Little tap. Squeeze. Tap. Squeeze. You've got seven more reps. You can. Micro bend through your standing leg. Find your foundation. Find your breath. You can do this. You guys are rocking this. Give me five. Hold your right leg long in four. Tiny little pulse in three, just two, and one. Hold your right leg long, just a pulse. Press, squeeze, tiny little movements, just press. Squeeze, press, squeeze. You can do this, the smaller the better. This is your very last thing in your warrior three. We're gonna shake it out after this. Dig just a little bit deeper. Sink one inch lower through your left leg. Lift one inch higher through your right, then find even more control. Oh yeah, I know your legs are shaking. You want out of this right here, right now. You've got seven more seconds. Dig just a little bit deeper for four. Butt kicks coming at you in three, just two, and one. Press away from your bar. Butt kicks, you've got to drag your heels towards your glutes. Pump your arms next to your side, really flex through your toes. Chest up, chin up, you've got this. You are so proud of yourself. You are past halfway done right here, right now. Keep it up, work just a little bit harder. Whew. Oh yeah, you've got 10 more seconds. Keep it up, just for four. You can, give me three, last two, and one. Heck yeah, you guys, nice shot. Capture your weight. This time you're gonna take it into your right hand. Find side position, heels in, toes out. Tuck your hips forward, arm comes up and out to 90 degrees for a shoulder press, inhale, lower. Exhale, press. Add your plie in, inhale, lower, plie. Exhale, lift. Oh yeah, active recovery. Micro bend through your elbow at the top. Weight stacks directly over your shoulder. Little lower. Little lift, elbow stops right at shoulder height. Chest is so proud, roll your shoulders up and back. Then see if you can sink two inches lower through your legs than you did on the last side because you're even more warmed up, you're even more fired up right here. And now lower through your plie. Exhale lift, if you wanna fire up even more, dig your heels, lift your toes. You've gotta even fire up, inhale lower. Exhale lift and squeeze your glutes at the top. Oh yeah, you guys are rocking this. I know your shoulders starting to fatigue. We're gonna add on in seven. You've got this. Dig just a little bit deeper. Maybe you find the beat of the music right here to power you through. You've got it, give me six. Keep it up just for four. Hold it at the bottom in three. Last two and one. Hold it down at the bottom, little pec deck with a releve, inhale in. Exhale, press back, inhale in. Exhale, press back and lift. Isometric hold through your plie right here. Gaze is straight ahead. And then maybe you release your death grip through your fingertips. Take a lighter grip with your left finger. You've got this, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift and squeeze. You've got this. So, so strong. Keep it up. Little lower. 
Little lift, sink even lower through your plie. Lift your heels just a little bit higher. You've got it. So, so strong. Know that it's always an option to take this down to a low rotator. You can do this just for five. Oh yeah, keep it up. So strong, last four. For three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys. Drop your weight over your head and take it right into our tricep dips. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift. Bicep moves right next to your cheekbones. Weight drops directly behind your head. Gaze remains straight ahead. I'm so much pull through your legs. You've got to sink a little bit lower. Inhale, lower. Exhale, focus in on just your tricep burn. Little drop. Squeeze. Again, on this side, if you want even more, maybe you grab another weight. Maybe you grab a heavier water bottle. Whatever it is, if you want more engagement, do it. Maybe you ditch your weights completely, and that's great, too. This is just as much burn right here. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press. Ooh, micro bend through your elbows. You can do this. Keep it up. Oh, yeah. We're going to pulse it at the top. Add your leg pulse in four. Pulse it out in three. Just two. And one a little lower. Squeeze. Lower. Squeeze. You've got it. One down. And up. One down. And up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze. You've got it. Ooh, a bunch of core engagement right here. Chest up, chin up. Shoulders roll up and back. Gaze is straight ahead. You've got this. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Keep it up. Deep inhale, sharp exhales. Oh, yeah, give me four. Last three. For two. And one. Exhale your way to heart center. Tick tocks. Inhale, lower to the left. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale, lower to the right. Exhale, lift. Little drop. Squeeze. Drop. Squeeze, actively press your weight at heart center, elbows high, chest is proud. Your elbows tend to want to like drop down, like no, you've got this. Elbows high, chest is proud. Gaze is straight ahead. Maybe you find a smile right here. Think back to that one thing that you told me at the beginning of class. You purposefully have slowed down for because you actually have time to do it. And then appreciate that and appreciate yourself acknowledging that you need to slow down to do some things. Even once this is over, you've got this. Little drop. Squeeze, the obliques are really starting to fire up right here. We're gonna take it just to the back to the left in five. You've got this. Sink a little bit lower through your legs. I see you creeping up. Keep it up for four. Just three, two, and one. Just the left, little drop. Squeeze at center, little drop. Squeeze at center, and help lower. Exhale, squeeze, drop, squeeze. Whoo. Deep inhale, sharp exhales, even up to your side. We did this just to the right on the other side. We need to even it out. Sink even lower through your legs. You can, you are almost out of this pose. Keep it up just for four. You can, we're gonna shake it out in three. Last two, and one, mini hops, and pull lower. Exhale, lift, little drop, lift, drop, lift. Point your toes towards the ground, you've got this. This is gonna fire up a whole bunch through your quads, through your inner and outer thighs. Heels in, toes out, just press. Squeeze, know that you can ditch your weight completely, just take it to your mini hops, just press. Squeeze, I know this doesn't feel like as much right here, but you're gonna to start to feel the burn. And that's naturally gonna bring your heart rate up. You've got this, you've got 15 more seconds. I know you're like, holy moly, that is like too long. You can do this, you're already down to 10. Dig just a little bit deeper, give me four. Oh yeah, last three for two and one. Exhale your weight to your right hand. Point your left toes towards the wall or whatever's in front of you. Taking it right into our curtsy lunge with an upright row. Lateral leg lift. Curtsy lunge, upright roll, lateral leg lift, inhale lower, exhale lift, inhale lower down, exhale lift. Notice how my weight just grazes the front side of my body, weight stops right in my armpit, elbows high, slow and controlled through this. Know that you can do the same thing here, just tap your toes, lift your leg. Take this into two distinct movements if you need to, but challenge yourself to make this a fluid movement. Little drop, lift and squeeze at the top. You've got this, you guys look so good. Inhale, lower all the way down. Exhale, lift all the way up. Keep it up, you can. We're gonna hold it at the top in four. Whew, so strong. Give me three, hold it high in two. And one, hold up high, just pulse, press, squeeze, optional kind of Find a pointer flex through your toes. Just press. Squeeze. Find a micro bend through your standing leg for four. You've got it. Just three. For two. And one. Hold your right leg high. Drop your bicep down to your ribcage. We take it to our hamstring curl. Bicep curl. Everything bends and extends. 
bend and extend. You've got to inhale, bend, exhale, press. We'll stop it. Press, you can flex through your toes. Stamp through your heels. Find energy through your right heel right here, right now. You've got this. I know you're starting to fatigue. You're kind of like, oh, when's this gonna be over? Party hasn't stopped yet. Neither have you. You can do this. Who inhale, bend. Exhale, press. Little bend. Press. You've got to keep it up. Just for five. You can. Pulse your arm high in four. Pulse it out in three. Just two. And one arm's high. Just pulse. Press. Squeeze. You've got to just press. Squeeze. Keep it up. For four, three, two, and one. Hold it high. Isometric hold through your arms. Isometric hold through your right toes. Find you. Inhale, bend. Exhale, lift. Little bend. Lift. Bend. Lift. Love the option of adding your releve right here. And take it to a little bend. Lift. Bend. Lift. You're going to fire up even more right here. A little bend. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Can you lift your right leg just a little bit higher? Point or flex even more through your toes. It's gonna to help you keep your balance. You've got this, elbows high, biceps are strong. <clears throat> Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Oh yeah, your legs are shaking. You went out of this, you've got five. Keep it up. Squat jumps coming at you in four. Just three. For two and one, ditch your weight at the side of your mouth. Squat jumps, in the lower. Exhale, lift, little drop. Squeeze all the way down, all the way up. You guys are rocking this. I have great news. This is your very last cardio burst. I want you to dig just a little bit deeper. Take it just a little bit harder. Push just a little bit more. Whew, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. You can, just seven more seconds. You can do this. You guys are totally rocking this. Give me five, last four for three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, me back then. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, find high plank. We got a little bit of core work right here. Stack your shoulders over your wrist. We take it from high to low plank. Inhale, lower down to forward plank. Exhale, lift, press back, high plank. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift up. I'm gonna take it to a side view so you can see this just a little bit better. You keep on breathing, keep on moving. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift up. Little drop. Lift at the top. Maybe you alternate which arm you drop down, which arm you lift up each and every time. Challenge yourself just a little bit right there. And then check in with your body. Hips right at shoulder height. Heels come up and over the balls of your feet. Belly button draws up and towards your spine and your entire rib cage together. You've got this. This is your core work right here. We're gonna hold it down at the bottom in six. Keep it up. Hold your forearm plank in four. Hold your forearm plank three. Last two. And one, drop down your forearm plank, hip dips. Inhale, lower down to the right. Lift, drop to the left. Squeeze all the way down. Lift, if you want even more, glue your big toes together. Tap to the right, lift to the left. If you need more stability, step your toes out wider. Little drop, squeeze, drop, squeeze. You can do this. You guys are getting so, so close to the finish of class. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Keep it up. Drop. Lift and squeeze. Continue to engage through your obliques. We've got six more reps. Three on each side. That is it. Hold your forearm plank in four. Find your forearm plank in three. Just two. And one. Find your forearm plank. Take it to a right leg lift. Lower. Left leg lift. Lower. Inhale. Lower. Exhale. Lift. You've got it. You're going to start to tap into your low core right here. I want you to stay super strong through your upper body. Super strong through your foundation and then flex through your toes as you lift your heel up the back side of the wall. Little bit lift, a little lower. Lift your right, drop it down. Lift your left, drop it down. You can do this, hips stay square down towards your mat. Core is engaged, I know you're shaking right here right now. You can do this, give me four. Ah, uh, yeah, take it to a side plank in three. Just two and one, plant your left forearm down. Open it up to a side plank and take it right into a, um, a hip dip. Inhale, lower and lift. Little drop, squeeze, drop, squeeze. Shoulder stack one on top of the other. Option to drop one foot down, or maybe you stack your feet one on top of the other. You've got this. Little drop, squeeze. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift it up. You're gonna take it directly into the right side in four. Right side forearm plank in three. Just two. 
and one. You've got to take it down to the right side, forearm plank, same thing. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. You've got this. Stick with me right here. You're almost out of your core work. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift and squeeze. You've got it just for six. So, so strong, even after your sides, give me four. Keep it up, find your forearm plank in three. Last two, and one, find your forearm plank, just hold. You've got this, you have a 15 second hold right here, and then we're gonna take it down to our backs for just a little bit more work. You've got it, for seven more seconds. Keep your breath flowing, power through this. You can, you are strong enough, give me four. Drop down to your knees in three. Last two, and one, you guys are rock stars, honestly. We have just a little bit more work to do. Flip all the way over onto your back. It's a little bit of bridge work. Stack your knees over your ankles. Gaze goes up towards the ceiling. And your palm down towards your hips. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, press your hips high for a single lift. Now lower to a hover. Exhale, lift and squeeze. All the way down. All the way up. One count down. One count up. You've got this. Relax your head, neck, and shoulders down onto your mat. Gaze goes up towards the ceiling. Focus in on your hips. Focus in on your quads. Focus in on your core. You've got this. Inhale lower, glutes come to a hover. Exhale up, hips come high. This is your last little bit of hard work. Cool down is literally at your doorsteps. Inhale lower. Exhale lift and squeeze. You've got it for four. Hold your hips high in three. Hips stay high in two and one. Hold your hips high. Extend your right leg high. Inhale lower to a hover. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Option to point your flex through your toes. Ground down a whole bunch through your left quad and press through all four corners of your left foot. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift up. Now check in with yourself. If you feel yourself speeding through this movement, slow yourself down for the last little bit of class. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift up. We're gonna switch sides in four. You've got to take it directly into your left side. Punch your right foot down in three. Keep it up just for two. And one, ground down through your right, extend your left leg high, inhale lower, exhale lift. Inhale lower down, exhale lift it up, you've got it, hips are still high. Low core is still engaged, draw your belly button in towards your spine. And then your shoulders melts down into your mat. Little drop, squeeze at the top. Inhale lower drop, exhale lift and squeeze. You guys look so good. Keep it up just for six more. You can dig just a little bit deeper. Plant your left foot next to your right in four. Give me three. Last two. And one, plant your foot down. You take it two counts down. Two counts up. Inhale, lower two. Exhale, lift two. Down two to a hover. Up two, hips shoot high. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Really squeeze your glutes at the top. One count down. One count up. We're gonna add a knee back at the top in four. Add it in in three. Just two. And one, you've got it down for two, up for two, little knee wag. Down for two, up for two, knee wag. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze, tiny in and out. Start to tap into your inner and outer thighs once you drive your hips up high. Little in, little out. Your legs are gonna fire up so much right here, right now. Give me the most work in this last two minutes. Last two minutes of hard work, you guys got this. You have empowered us all right here, right now. So keep powering yourself through this right now. You've got it just for four. Keep it up, we're gonna pulse our hips high in three. Pulse your hips high in two and one. Hips just press, squeeze, press, squeeze. Core is engaged, glutes engaged. Just press, squeeze, give me six. Who we hold it high in four. Squeeze at the top in three, two, and one. Hold it high, just press back. Squeeze, press, squeeze. Knees drive back, just press. Squeeze, core is engaged. Oh yeah, hips are high, just press. Squeeze, you can do this. This is where we finish, just squeeze. Knees drive back. Can you lift your hips three inches higher? Head, neck, and shoulders melts down into your mat. Your legs are burning, your core is burning. This is it, you've got five more seconds. Hips come just a little bit higher. Knees draw into your chest in four. Knees to your chest in three, just two. And one, exhale, release, drive both of your knees into your chest. Take three big rock and rolls forward and back, side to side. Give your low back a little bit of a massage. And slow your breath down. 
Find a still movement in three. Draw both of your knees into your chest in two. And one, draw both of your knees into your chest. Extend your right leg long, drag your left foot in towards your chest. Give it a tight squeeze. And then on your exhale, shoot it all the way across your body, supine twist. Gaze falls over towards your left fingertips. Head, neck, and shoulders bumps down into your mat. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Draw both of your knees into your chest. Give them a tight squeeze. Reset your spine. And then when you're ready, extend your opposite leg long. Draw your right knee in towards your chest. Give it a tight squeeze. And on your exhale, shoot it all the way across your body. Supine twist. Start to relax your head, neck, and shoulders. Maybe close your eyes down. Relax the tension in the middle of your eyes. Check in with your breath. Start to calm your breath and calm your thoughts. Exhale. Draw both of your knees into your chest. Give them a tight squeeze. On your exhale, shoot your heels up towards the ceiling. Find a happy baby stretch. Maybe your palms grab from the backs of your legs. Your ankles are all the way down for the bottoms of your feet. Maybe you rock and roll right and left, forward and back. Maybe you extend one leg and then the other. Whew, don't forget to smile here. As we all know, the happy babies will be smiling in this position. So turn the corners of your mouth up one last time for yourself, for making it to your mat, for finding time to slow down for yourself and for the loved ones around you. When you're ready, draw both of your knees into your chest. Forearms wrap around your knees, forehead draws up to meet your knees. Give yourself the biggest hug. Appreciate all the hard work that you just put it on your own mats at home. And on your exhale, release everything out long to the sweetest of Ashtavasanas. I'll pull you out in just a few. When you're ready, start to bring a little bit of awareness to your fingers, to your toes. Allow that energy to transfer into your wrists, into your ankles, and maybe your head rotates from right and left, and back to center again. On your inhale, reach your fingertips long above your head, point your toes towards the wall, towards the space that's in front of you. Like it's the first stretch of the day. Extend everything long, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your stomach. Feel your heartbeat, feel your breath flow, and feel forever grateful for both of those things. Appreciate this time that you have, whether it's with yourself, whether it's with your loved ones. Take this time to slow down and realize the things that are important to slow down for, even when life goes back to normal. Together we bring our hands to the third eye center, the soft spot between our eyes. The student and teacher in me is incredibly inspired and motivated by each and every one of you here today. Together we bow to life before us saying, Namaste. Heck yeah, bar friends. You guys totally crushed it. I know you did. Um, thanks for coming to hang out with me. I hope to see you guys on here again soon. If not, keep checking out all the super fun videos. Keep tagging us in all the fun things. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.